initially the customer had a problem uh, with the throttle response once once you would press on the brake and uh, i mean once you would press on the throttle it would not go the way that it's supposed to go which is a similar problem uh, with the camaro says that we were doing for the guy now now uh, after the programming was done we were able to test drive the car and that's what i'm doing right now still test driving it to see maybe well spot something but so far everything is clear with it and got no problems whatsoever so what's interesting is that uh with his original module with no throttle response he bought another module uh we installed that in the car to see if it would properly work and it wasn't working properly at all uh so that indicates that uh well the problem is definitely with the engine computer and we programmed the computer for the guy which after that the car is going good so stay tuned we're about to show you the whole entire process of us taking out the computer swapping it with the um computer that he got the other company was stating that that it once again is plug and play we will find that out if that's if that's true or not um swap the computer program the computer for the guy and we'll be able to test test it out see how the car is performing which is exactly what i'm doing right now still test driving this tank <laughs> and so far it's doing good i don't see any problems with it at all so if you have a similar problem where you need the, your computer to be uh, replaced and reprogrammed just make sure that you'll get in touch with us we'll make it work for you and i'm just enjoying the most comfortable ride on a big Chevy Suburban so stay tuned so before doing anything we first want to start the car on the original module and see how it's gonna act so there you go ignition on we're about to start the car the car started but the client is saying that he got a problem with the throttle where once you press the full throttle it would not properly run so let's say i'm about to do a full throttle on it and he's saying that it's slowly slowly climbing up to like whatever rpm it is and that's it all right let's now install a new module in see how it's gonna act with that right so we pop the hood on this chevy it's a suburban 2011 we, what we want to find out is where the computer is located on it and we will do the same exact thing as what we did with Camaro we'll get the computer out, we'll read the information out of it customer brought in another module for, uh, for it as well and we will plug that one in, see if it's gonna work if not, we will reprogram the second computer put install it into the car and see uh, how the car will behave now, matter of fact the computer for it it's located right here, that's it, that's the computer. Let me show you from a different angle just so you can see what it looks like. Now what we will do is we'll take out the computer and put it, put a new one in that the customer brought to us. I'm about to show you the two of them. So the process is similar to the Camaro except you don't have the red clips or maybe there's just is that dirty, yeah, I'm not able to see that. But you just pull on the um, plug to open it up and there you go you got the two connectors that you'll see right there check this out all right so we got the original computer we got a new one for the guy looks just like this it looks a little bit more dirty now the customer brought it into us, so we gotta install it and see how the car will act. Let's do it. Right, so we'll, we're putting in a module that the customer got for us. Technically, contact. We need to check the contact. The contact is not working. Okay, let's go to Right, it's installed. Let's go and see how the car will run. I've got the key. 
let's put it in ignition on and nothing is not happening right so we got the key ignition on the ac is blowing all the lights are on let's start the car so once we installed the module we noticed that there is a um a light that it looks just like that and there is a car and they lock and what that means is uh, the security light is on as well as the check engine light um we are not able to start the car whatsoever like i'm trying to start it the light disappears everything disappears but the car yeah we can't start it so what we'll do now same thing that we did with a camaro we will reprogram the module for the guy install it test drive it and see how it's gonna perform and we'll go from there Right, so time to install the module after we programmed it. Took us um, some time to get it programmed, it's done. Uh, we didn't install it into, into the car to test it out yet, so we will do it right now to see what's going on, so let's do it. All right, key, let's go. Ignition on, let's start the car. Okay, there you go. Right, so now let's start with the throttle, see how it's gonna act. Okay. Nice. So what I will do right now is I'll take this car out on a test drive. We're gonna find out what, what and how it's performing and we'll go from there for the test drive though we want to make sure the computer is put in the proper place just like that and lock on the position so that way you know you won't drive and the computer will be flipping around inside of the engine bay right let's take it out on test drive test driving a 2011 chevy suburban on the module that we programmed for the guy Right, so right away I want to mention that the gear switch is working perfect, uh, it's, it's smooth, just like how it's supposed to be. Uh, the throttle response is also there, and it, you know... The car pulls, which is good. So it drives good, it's nice. I got no questions for this car at all. So there you go. We programmed the module for the guy. And just like how it's supposed to be, this is a second time that we get a customer um, with a Chevy and a car as well that pretty much got the same exact problem actually. Because we programmed it for him and uh, what's interesting is that when he was um and the guy i'm talking about the guy with the uh, camaro when he came over we installed the module it acted the same exact way as this car did and after the programming of it we were able to to get it going the chevy went perfectly on the straight line did great uh this one same thing of course it's a big car you know it's a suburban but it's doing its job. I like the fact that there is a result there. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I leave a like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this with a Chevy. And we'll go from there. Thank you very much. Bye.